Hello and welcome back to the Zany Zoroastrians. So, we are a new character. We're Vahab, and well, we're um, we're a little bit of a heretic, but that's all right. I just want to zoom out for a second here to show you what's going on with the rest of the world, in case you're interested. Nothing crazy seems to have happened yet, but you know, some nations are forming. I'm expecting next time we have a look over here is going to look very, very different, but we'll see. See, although Saxony are Germanic, right? They are. Okay, so actually I think Saxony have expanded already. Because they've got their new Cassus Belly, so they're going to expand a lot. Gazari appears to have everything in the north. And the uh, Uyghurs up here have pretty much everything there. But yeah, there are some big nations still. And our Abbasids have stayed together, which is also very nice. Right, anyway, back down to us. Uh, we're saving up money for new buildings. We're trying to fabricate claims. That's pretty much standard fare for us at this point. Uh, the Manichean uh, faith, triumphant. Uh, the adherence of the Zoroastrian faith has slowly dwindled to the point where the uh, Manichaeans, uh, Manichaean believers are in the majority. This new state of affairs has reduced the Zoroastrian faith to a de facto heresy. All former Zoroastrian holy orders are now uh, Manichaean. Wait. So we're now a heresy of a heresy. We, sorry, we're secretly following a heresy of a heresy. That's, uh, weird. And all of these people are also... Yeah. Okay, that is weird. I like it. Uh, the maid didn't manage to kill this person. We're trying to kill that child because he's our rival. So we'll see what we can do. Oh, another maid. We'll try it. I imagine they're going to try and smother him. Yes, he was smothered by a pillow by a maid we had bribed. She wasn't caught and had no reason to place the blame on me. Cool. We've inherited uh, the their title here. This holding over here. So this is a city we just inherited, right? Or, oh, it's a temple. Okay. Well, we're going to give it away. Create a new vassal. And this now means that, uh, if I go back over here, that should have just spawned in this guy. Perfect. Yeah. He's left-handed, obviously a uh, follower of the devil, but, you know, apart from that, he's fine. Oh, we also have enough to build our building, because we must have inherited his money as well. Even better. Uh, what are we going to do? So, now that he's dead, I can either become close friends with one of his enemies, who is our sister wife, which seems good, and become a bitter rival with this person, or do nothing. Yeah, I'm going to become friends with my sister wife. That seems good. Yeah. We get the uh, friend plus 100 bonus. Oh, and now I can build in here. I don't want a levy upgrade or I don't want to keep. So I believe that this will give us 10 this will give us an extra 5% uh, levy size and garrison size. Well, uh, oh, I can't build these because I need castle walls. Hmm. And I can't build castle walls because I need improved keeps to be at level 2. Which I can't afford yet. Okay. Um, I could also go for castle town. It gets you court size and money. Potentially good. Um, hmm. I'm going to go for keep. Yeah. I want more light cav and that's the only way I'm going to get more light cav. How many troops do we have in total? Not really that many. Our marshal is god awful, but that's fine. Right. Uh, don't need to do anything else. Curse that damned a uh, court imam. He and his posse of war warriors stormed into my chambers and cast me in chains, accusing me of apostasy. Uh, now Emir Murad the Cruel has decided that I should be burned alive. Oh. Ahura Mazda, save my soul. Well, that was a short-lived life. Sheikh Vahab has ascended to heaven at age 42. He was burned at the stake on the order of Amir Murad of the Tamimi Emirate. Born with unparalleled genius, Vahab was known for his sharp and brilliant mind, always looking for new problems to solve and opportunities to exploit. Uh, he wasn't born with genius, he has shrewd, which is not the one that you get born with, it's the education trait. <sighs> you know, typical, they haven't updated this. Whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, Sheikh Aram, an accomplished diplomat, vassals and foreign rulers alike are sure to respect him. Long live Sheikh Aram, who is also a heretic of a heretic. <laughs> uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, so be it. Right. Um, so actually, our last, our half brother did have more kills than. Oh no, he had the same number of kills as the uh, father. Interesting. Anyway, uh, that's fine. So now we are the half brother. We are married to this person, who is a proper Zoroastrian. 
And you know what? Um, what is weird is we do have our mother here. Who we could take as a concubine. You know what? Sure. We're going to have our mother as a concubine. And we're also going to have our sister as a concubine. Perfect. Right. Just securing the bloodline there. Right. Uh, next step. We need a new uh, Astabad. Who can be this vassal? That's alright. He now quite likes me because I put him in charge. Um, right. So you can go fabricate flames. And then we also need a spy master. Uh, who I guess could be this guy. He doesn't hate me at all really. So that seems good. Yeah. I think you'd be my new spy master. Right. Need a new commander. New commander is going to be... Yeah. This guy. Perfect. Perform Sky Burial. Well, obviously. Without any heirs of his own, it falls upon you to take your brother to the mountains. He'll be offered to the birds of prey. Yes, 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 yes. We have done this very recently. New focus. Um, I don't know. We go for some light like, seduction if we wanted to. Try and uh, do something with that. No, I'm trying to see what else we could go for. We could go for some like war or hunting to try and push up our marshal a little bit. No, let's go seduction. Let's try something wacky. Zany, you could say. You know what? First person I'm going to seduce. Oh, wait. I can't seduce her. Oh. That's fine. Um, I'll just wait a second or two. We have a new heir, who is our brother. That's fine. He is a lunatic, so hopefully he doesn't get in charge. We have fulfilled the ambition to gain a title. Uh, new ambition. Why well, have groom an heir? That gives us a lot of chance. That gives us the fertility bonus from seduction. Plus the groom and heir gives us an extra 20%. So that's 45%. Plus the charismatic negotiator gives us 5%. So we've got 50% extra chance of having children. Even with chaste on our wife, that should be alright. Uh, she does have a positive fear, doesn't it? No, indulgent wasteful doesn't give you a positive. Alright. And you know what? Um, can I... Wait, why can I not seduce anyone? I have seduction. Suitable targets. Can I see who the suitable targets are? Like, does it have to be... Hmm. Uh, like her? I can seduce her. Okay, so let me just have a look here. Um. Hmm. Seems like we should be able to seduce more people than it's suggesting to us here. I thought you used to be able to seduce your wife, didn't you? Hmm. Maybe you can't anymore. Okay, whatever. Um, so I guess it has to be someone within our court, so I can't, like, seduce... No, I can seduce her, maybe, if she followed our religion, which she doesn't. Hmm. Are you an alliance with this guy? I can form an alliance. Sure. I'll get an alliance with him, and you know what? I'll seduce his wife. Uh, actually... Ooh, where have I gone? Uh, actually, I'm gonna... Oh, oh never mind. I was gonna say I was gonna seduce his daughter instead, but, um... Never mind. Uh, yeah, I'm going to seduce his wife. Right. I'll bring all my seduction skills to bear on her. Right. See how that goes. We have gotten our, we've got our alliance. You would like me to be your marshal. Again, I'm not very good at it, but okay. I'll be your marshal. You really don't look well suited for the job. That's okay. A lone hermit. On your way to the mountains, you encounter a lonely hermit. He doesn't own much besides a worn-down tent, an old and sick horse, along with a few sheep. But the old man invites you to drink some salted tea with him. As you talk, you realize you're enjoying his company. So, I can give him 10 gold for some charitable. Uh, so for a 50% chance of charitable, I can have him join me and say thank you, I must be going. Why don't you join us? So, Peroz has joined me. Okay. Wow! He's amazing! He is a fantastic commander. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, placed the body in a good location, and we got 100 prestige for it. Nice. It's good. I've sent Draria a beautiful necklace and covered her room with wildflowers. Today I found my bed full of wilted petals and a bent rusty nail on my pillow. I love a good challenge. Yes. Obviously. Uh, you would like to educate my half-brother. That's, that's, a, that's a no for me. Thanks for the offer, though, but that is definitely a no for me. I had some carefully placed words where they can be overheard by notorious gossips can be more effective than a love letter or so I thought, but my quarry 
uh, Daria has not responded in any way. New tactic. Right. I made sure to attend a minor event in Lad in the hopes of seducing her. But despite my best attempts, she remains unimpressed. We will try again. Poachers have been seen in Dash Testan, so I should probably send my spy master and my marshal to investigate the matter. Uh, eliminate the poachers. Daria has not responded to the love letter I left on her pillow. Well, I'll try something else. Uh, so Washfan uh, caught two young poachers in my forest with a couple of dead rabbits on the belt and a live one in a snare. So I can cut off their ears because I am diligent? Yeah, sure. Cut off their ears. Oh. Uh, I think I had that event appear twice, but there we go. They're very cut off now. So Washfan tried to protest against the poacher's punishment, but it was too late. Uh, he thought I should have been more merciful. <clears throat> oh, apologies. Lost my voice slightly there. Um, yeah, well, he's, I'm cruel. And yes, he also did not like my approach to this, my marshal. Okay. Uh, the response from uh, Shaikaha, Daria, wasn't quite what I expected. And apparently I'm to stay away forever. She refused my seduction. You would like to give me 235 gold for a favor. I accept. 100%. That's fine. All right, well, we can't seduce his wife. Um, he try seducing his concubine. No, uh, no, I can't, actually. I can't try seducing his concubine. Oh, when did he get that land? He has revoked uh, Shiraz here. Ah, huh, interesting. Well, um, hmm, that is interesting. So we've lost one of our uh, potential uh, allies in the region. Okay. Uh, well, you are the next one here. I'm going to seduce your wife. I can't seduce her. Wait, can, oh, I maybe have to wait a second or two? Yeah, now seduce is available. Maybe I can seduce this concubine. Yeah, can I seduce my wife yet? Nope. Neither of them either. That's fine. Uh, let's seduce... Um, no, I'm going to seduce this concubine. Why not? Uh, seduce her. Right. Uh, keep going. We're now at 190, so we can build something new. Uh, I'm having dinner and plenty of drinks with Sheik Emmanuel of Nap of Na Atta tonight. It's lovely, yet we're most charmed by is Emmanuel himself. Why else would I not immediately stop our conversation? We've begun to touch upon some almost heretical ideas, questioning the salvation of Ahura Mazda. I, I can't really resist the opportunity to worship Satan while to secretly worship Satan while pretending to secretly worship uh, Mazdaki while worshipping a heresy of the main religion. Yes. Um, why, uh, if we did not ask questions, why did Ahura Mazda make us curious? It's a great discuss uh, discussion, fueled, fueled by alcohol or not. Walking the palisade to my castle, I'm joined by uh, the Sheik. I find myself agreeing with a lot of the concepts he presents. The futility of prayer particularly resonates with me. Suddenly he returns and presses a small leather pouch into my hand. My lord, will you carry this with you for protection? Sure, why not? What if I told you that all you've been taught to believe in is a lie? He continues, throwing a cautious glance around us before pulling up his sleeve, revealing a scar in the shape of a pentagram. Ahura Mazda lied to Adam in the Garden of Eden, reject the tyrant deity and let uh, Ahrima guide your steps. Oh, you truly are a witch, then. Can you do something about my rival? I have a rival? I do have a rival. Oh, she's the concubine I um, banished. Okay, yes, as the previous. Okay, that's fine. We might, if you offer yourself up to Satan, you'll be granted powers Azura Mazda has kept from us humans. Fingering the leather pouch in my pocket, I slowly nod. Oh, and I think you'll enjoy it, he says with a knowing smile. Oh, if there's any chance I'll do something about my rival, I will. I sent uh, Sacha a beautiful necklace and covered a room with wildflowers and I've heard nothing back. Well, it could be worse. Yeah. It's been some time since uh, the Sheik was in contact with me. I've been mulling over his words. Ahura Mazda told Adam he would die if he ate of the forbidden fruit. Ahura Mazda lied. The Herbads in the temple lie. Hmm. Uh, we could become greedy and get extra tax for minus diplomacy. You know what? Sure. I'll wait further instructions and grab Greedy at the same time. Conquest by Rumor. 
she has not responded to my rumors. Uh, so I can build again in here, although I haven't actually uh, finished with the previous building, so that's fine. Get there in a second. I found some cryptic scrawlings written in blood on my bedroom door this morning. The guards say they haven't seen anyone enter during the night and I dare not speak my, uh, I may not, dare not ask my Mobad to decipher it. Yet, I think I understand. The pentagram, the mark of Araman. Hmm. Of course, the, um, bargain must be struck. That's fine. Oh, I've chanced upon, uh, Sacha alone in the kitchen when she came down for a usual late snack. We talked and laughed for hours, and I can tell the attraction is growing. I uh, hoping I've read her correctly. I lean in to whisper into her ear, and I'm going to make a lewd suggestion. She backed away from me, blushing and stammering something about being sorry before rushing off. We need to try something else. And she told me to stay away forever. Brother Aram, we have received word of your dedication and desire to join the Legion of the True Lord. Await the messenger. Let the Dark One guide you. Signed, Priestess Egregoria. Alright, finally. I'm on the lookout for a messenger. Is she even with it? She's out of uh, diplomatic range from, of us, but is still sending us messages. I met an intriguing and hypnotically beautiful woman at court. Uh, okay. She is within diplomatic range, actually, for once. Apparently, this, uh, uh Georgia, uh, is a foreign diplomat. I engaged her in conversation for the first time today. We spoke at length about phrasings. Uh, I was shocked when she carefully pulled up her sleeve, revealing the mark of Lucifer. You're the messenger. The abjurer smiles. I'm pleased to find you not only a charming man, Aram, but also one capable of intellectual discourse. The brethren value the pursuit of knowledge, you see, in addition to more earthly pursuits. Her smile turns into a predatory grin as she continues. We'll soon see exactly how committed you are. I, uh, what do you need me to do? News from China. The Great Famine in China is finally over. Popular uprisings have uh, broken out in Chang'ang, and large groups of disgruntled peasants have taken up arms, led by disgruntled army officers. Trade has been halved along the Silk Road, and China will not be able to defend its tributary states. But halved is better than zero, right? No, uh, it's still inactive due to things further along the line. Uh, if I check our trade zone here... Yeah, there's still things here, and I think further along here there's stuff. Yeah, anyway, that's fine. Uh, Georgia uh, escorts me to my bedchamber. I hesitate upon entering, finding it flooded with light as candles form a circle around the bed. Several hooded figures surround the room, chanting in unison. Fear not, brother. Power and pleasure, these are the gifts of Satan. Hmm. I've never tried to escape, but you know what? I like the sound of that. When I wake up, the cloaked figures are gone, and Georgia is lying next to me, a smile tugging at the corner of her mouth. Welcome to Lucifer's own, Shikaram, she says. I hold her close, wondering how I will look back on this moment. Then say, I wish I found you sooner. We have a budding romance, or it's a necessary evil. Yeah, I wish you had found me sooner. So now, we are in a secret order, worshipping Lucifer, while also being in a secret order, um... Uh, doing this heresy while it, pretending to be this heresy well, yeah it, it, it's several layers deep at this point oh interesting it makes you leave this one huh I thought you might be in them simultaneously but I guess not my brother in darkness Theodote Theodote really his name is Theodote Theodote what a name uh, was passing by and decided to pay me a surprise visit he's in a lewd mood and thought we might stage an impromptu orgy in honour of Araman Oh, fantastic. I'll wear my horned helmet. Oh, where, where, where am I? Oh, yes, the orgy. Three days of wicked debaucheries conducted by a preopaic dwarf from hell. The drugs, the copulation, the succubus with the hypnotic flute, the ritual murder. Was it real? All I need to know is that Theodote sure knows how to throw a party. I feel great. We're now brawny and we have dark power and he's also our friend now. Well, with that, that seems like a perfect point to end the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.